Well, the movie theater was built in 1930. It opened 1931. I bought the theater in 1969. I ran it for 10 years. I sold on a land contract and they had a family with leukemia and they gave it back to me six and a half years ago. We charge $2 a ticket just to have family shows. It's a family theater. I want to say I'm an avid movie goer, but when we go, we, uh, our theater of choice is the Sun Theater. It's a local theater in Grand Ledge. Charlie Pantier is there trying to improve the community and keep the business up, and I respect that. He gets in movies that are fairly current, and you just can't beat the price, the popcorn and the pop. Other theaters charge six to eight dollars. If they were four dollars, I would still support the Sun Theater. If they were a comparable price, six to eight dollars, I'd probably still support the Sun Theater because it's, it's in my hometown. We try and keep it affordable. The economy was bad not too long ago, so there's a lot of people in our community that really appreciate a $2 movie ticket, and we like doing that. We're very involved in the, in the community, trying to keep something that's essential, like a, a meeting place for movies and for other activities. He helps with the schools, has school groups in there. It's just a great thing to have, and we, if we want to maintain that, we as a community have to support that. We needed to upgrade from film to digital. The digital projector itself was $64,000. The sound system that went with it was another $15,000. So I've got about $80,000 into upgrades uh, for that. And you know, obviously, if you sell tickets at $2, you gotta sell 40,000 tickets just to break even. But we put a tip jar up there, we did some fundraisers, and we raised about $50,000 over two years and then I decided to just pay the rest myself out of my pocket. Spent another $25,000 and then this theater will be in pretty good shape. Only downfall for this theater is it's not a big enough concession stand and I wished I had larger restroom areas, but 1930, it is what it is. This is where the kids work from high school. We've got a bunch of high school kids that work here and we have a couple older volunteers that work on Wednesday nights. Mom used to work, she grew up in the city of Grand Ledge, she lived in town, and uh, she, when she was a junior in high school, she worked part-time at the Sun Theater. Of course, it was under a different owner, because Mr. Pantier probably wasn't born then, but my mom was younger. Mom? Yeah, I've got candy from a dollar to two dollars, and popcorn from two bucks to four bucks. I had to buy a new popcorn machine because the old one couldn't keep up to make customers, which is a good thing, right? So if someone were to ask, which theater should I go to tonight, what would you recommend? If you want to see the movie Home, you would, I'd say, go to the Sun Theater. If you don't want to see the movie Home, still go to the Sun Theater because you can't go wrong for $2.